Hey guys, welcome to Southern Nights. I'm your host, Dinah West. And I'm Veronica Gasway. I hope you guys are having a good week. Are you having a good week? You know, it's been a long week. I'm really happy we're getting to the end of it. Yeah, I've been sick for like two weeks, and so oh. like now I'm starting to like finally like recover. So mm -hmm. I think I'm like feeling a little bit better. And I had a weird week. So in my oral comm class, guys, um, the night before I was studying and I was listening to Beyonce because who doesn't listen to Beyonce? That's my girl. Anyways, um, I closed my laptop and, you know, I'm new to this whole like laptop thing because in college, you know, like, you know, you have to use a laptop like every other day. I didn't have to do that in high school. But anyways, I closed my laptop without like, you know, closing out the window. So I go into my oral comm class, which, by the way, has 250 students in it. And I open my laptop and here goes Beyonce. And so, you know, the whole class looks at me and I just go, sorry. So, you know, that was an awkward moment for me. I was really embarrassed, but I kind of just had to think like, Girl, just don't be embarrassed. No. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's totally everybody. normal. It happens all the time. Yeah. You, uh, maybe not with 250 people in your class, yeah, but it really not. is a thing that happens. Yeah. I ha I've been having, like, a lot of freshman moments since I've gotten here. Yeah. I've tripped. I haven't walked to the wrong class, though, but I've tripped. I've lost my way. Um, I think, like, the first day of school, I couldn't find the cafeteria. So I didn't eat the first day of school. <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah, um, we have a great show ahead, so stay tuned. It's been a great week. Um, I did get in trouble this week for being on my phone while trying to cross the road. One of my friends said, hey, don't do that, and I got pretty upset. But looking back now, um, it's really smart to make sure that you're not on your phone when you're crossing your ro the roads, yeah. especially on campus. Yeah. Um, just because some people don't watch the crosswalks. Yeah, remember to always just be safe and be cautious when you're around campus. Like even a day when I was walking to class, um, I did not press the little button to get across the, um, you know, to get to cross like the dorms you didn't. to get to. Yeah, I did. And like honestly, I was like, wow. Like I like when I realized that I didn't press the button and take like the proper safety precautions. I like freaked out, but I was grateful at the same time, you know, that nothing happened to me. So when you guys are walking around campus or getting around, just make sure to be considerate. Look both ways when you cross the street. You no. Know? So yeah, be safe. So we have a lot of fun things happening on campus this week, and um, my boy Sean Gordon is gonna update you guys on what's going on. Thanks, Dinah. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sean Gordon for Southern Nights. For those of you who don't know, MSSU just had their 41st homecoming picnic celebration on October 5th, which was followed by the Alumni Awards Ceremony and, of course, the coronation of this year's homecoming king and queen. The next day, on October 6th, MSSU also hosted the 2018 Homecoming Parade, where live bands and elaborately designed floats graced the campus grounds. We also have a lot of upcoming campus events you might be interested in attending, one of them being the From Ducklings to Disney, The Literary Life of Hans Christian Andersen, which will take place on Thursday, October 18th at 9.30 a.m. in Corley Auditorium in Webster Hall at MSSU. The event will discuss the biography of Hans Christian Andersen, as well as his many contributions to poetry and children's literature through familiar stories such as The Ugly Duckling and The Little Mermaid. That's all we have for now. Back to you, Dinah. So, I had a great homecoming week. Me too. I had a fun time with friends, food, and I also enjoyed um, doing the announcements for the floaty. That was like a really fun and cool experience. So. Yeah, the parade was great. It, yeah. it threatened to rain a little bit, but it was nice. It was yeah, fun. It there was were nice. a lot of really Not great floats. Bad, so. And the picnic? Yes. Yeah, it was lit. Yes. Fresh Ideas always does a really great job yeah. coordinating students to get what they need. Yeah, so shout out to you, Fresh Ideas. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed yourself this homecoming weekend. As and well seeing the did. king and queen get crowned. I know, right? That was such a fun experience. I have to say, one thing I love about Southern is they just have like that whole homey feel. So everything about Southern is like homey. So shout out to you, Southern. Shout out to the picnic, Fresh Ideas. Hope you guys had a great homecoming weekend. We're excited to be here tonight. For our guest lineup, we have Mariah Frazier from Signa Tall Delta, Sean Conroy from the Spiva Art Gallery, and Justin Collins will be here to sing us a song. We'll also be playing a game later on, so stay tuned and we'll be back for more.
Welcome back to Southern Nights, guys. I'm your host, Dinah West. Our first guests tonight are Mariah Frazier and Mackenzie Marshall of Sigma Tau Delta. They're going to talk to us about the organization and Southern's English department. All right, ladies, how are you guys doing today? Good. How are, how are you? you? I'm pretty good, you know, good neighborhood. Okay, so what is Sigma Tau Delta? Tell me a little bit about uh, that. Sigma Tau Delta is actually an international English honor society, okay. and so it's all over the country, all over the world. Um, the chapter here at Missouri Southern is the Lambda Chi chapter. Okay. It's uh, started in 1978. So it's been around for quite a while. Yeah. Um, we have a very active membership and just a lot of fun. So it's a lot of uh, special English majors coming together and just doing English writing literature stuff. Cool. So what are some of the things that you do? Um, Sigma Tau Delta does quite a lot. Um, we have monthly meetings with our chapter, just get everyone together and keep them informed. So we all have a little bit of a community there. But we also do book sales. Um, we have a book sale third Thursday every year and then we also do a book sale in the spring here on campus that lasts all week so definitely check that out later it's going to come around probably around april um we also go try to take people to the international convention they have mm -hmm. every year this year it's conveniently closed it's in st louis oh. and so that's super cool we're trying to get a bunch of people to go to that one so it'll be a I'm fun from. little very cool yeah, yeah so cool. super fun things to do in st louis it'll be fun to drive up there with multiple english majors and kind of do a big kind of thing um, some other things Sigma Tau Delta do, does, do. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> English major You're there. Fine. But, You're um, fine. Don't speak, we write it. <laughs> exactly. No, uh, we are, we've been doing a lot of stuff with the Nordic semester, actually. Okay. Um, wow. So you guys probably know about the Nordic semester here on campus. Yeah, I have. And I've been doing some things. I actually have a project on it, so that was cool. So I know you guys are having a um, book club coming up. So yeah. tell me about the book club and um, what's your theme for this semester? So the, we are doing the book club kind of in concert with the International Studies Department oh, here okay. on campus with Nordic Semester. So oh, okay. the book we've chosen is, uh, it's called Jar City by, I cannot say this person's name because I'm super bad at those Danish languages, okay. um, but Arnold Idrissen, I think is how you say it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a Nordic noir crime fiction, oh. um, which is a very popular genre up in those Icelandic countries. Mm. Uh, and it's just kind of, it's a murder mystery with a lot of like language things happening in it. So we thought that'd be a good choice. Oh, cool. So besides, you know, your book club, and then I know you guys are going to St. Louis, um, do you guys have any other events coming up this semester or this yeah. year? Um, yes, we do. This the, the thing coming up closest this semester is mm -hmm. on November 8th here on campus in Corley Auditorium. We're hosting a Nordic reading with some sampling of literature from all across those uh, five countries. And so that'll be some tales, trolls, and thrillers is what we're talking about because okay. they've got some really like fantastical Icelandic sagas and some interesting, the Moomin trolls from, is that from Finland? I think I Moomin think. Trolls are from Finland, just some fun stuff like that. Oh, that's so that's cool. going to be on campus. Uh, so look out for that. It's in the Nordic pamphlet somewhere. Oh, okay, <laughs> cool. So um, we know that Board Town like, isn't um, Sigma 2 Delta's publication, but could you tell us about it? Yeah, I think Mackenzie could probably tell you something. Yeah, so um, Border Town is just the English department's literary magazine, okay. um, and it um, comes out every year. Uh, and it's a production by the students, and you can submit if you're a student. You don't have to be an English major to submit. Oh. So we accept submissions. Mm -hmm. We usually open submissions in um, September. Submissions are open right now, yes. and oh. they are open until October 31st. Okay. Uh, submissions are open to student, faculty, and staff. Yeah, so Which anyone is not always on campus. the case. It hasn't always been the case. Yeah, we've it's been open to everyone on campus, so it's... We've changed a few things yeah. in the last couple of years. Yes. Um, Border Town's got a new look and some new fun things like the feature yes, section we're the doing. rebranding re it. So, like, the goal, I think, is that anytime you see um, Border Town from a distance, you'll know exactly what it is. So. so those like nice pastel colors with those black and white images. Oh, that's cool. us. That's Border Town. Okay, cool. Yeah. So um, I know you guys. Have you guys been in the club for you know all your all four years or Sigma Tau Delta? Uh huh. Uh, I actually wasn't an English major until my junior year. Oh wow. Um, but I have been active in Sigma Tau since yeah, I've cool. come over to the English so department. So it doesn't matter if you're an English major or not. You can come in. And yeah, Sigma Tau Delta. Uh, you can come to any meetings. Anyone, even if you're not a member of Sigma Tau Delta, come and hang out with us. We do really fun things, and I think we're pretty cool, fun people to hang out with. Um, but to be a member of Sigma Tau Delta, you have to have like, I think it's like a 2.5 GPA or higher, and then have taken at least two classes beyond composition in English. Okay. Um, and so, so usually your sophomore year. I somewhere around your sophomore year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to join, you know how to do that. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, Mackenzie yeah. and Mariah, for being with me. I really enjoyed you guys. It was yeah. a great segment. Thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah, no was. problem. After this break, we'll have Tashina Coleman to give us an update on sports.
What's up, Rory? Hey, Robert. I thought you might want to give that game a rest and get outside for a bit. Wow, this is great. Thanks, Rory. The real adventure is lived in real life. Hi, I'm Tashina Coleman, here to bring you some sports news here on campus. October 6th, Lions football play Missouri Western at 2 p.m. for the homecoming game. Vo volleyball began on October 5th and October 6th. Friday, they were at home playing against Washburn at 6 p.m. Saturday, they traveled to Emporia State. Game started at 6 p.m. Soccer was on the road Friday and Sunday as they traveled to Emporia State and Washburn. Friday's game started at 4 p.m. and Sunday's game started at 2 p.m. Come out and support these teams during the rest of their season and go Lions! Thank you to the lovely Tashina for that awesome sports update. I myself had so much fun at the homecoming game. I'm actually really surprised I have a voice because I almost lost it cheering on the boys. So, Next up we'll have Sean Conroy guys, so stick around. Missouri Southern State University's Institute of International Studies presents the 2018 Nordic Theme Semester. Come experience different cultural aspects from Iceland, Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Denmark. Events include lectures from guest speakers and Missouri Southern professors, themed art exhibits, international films, and even a book club. The theme semester will run from September 6th to December 3rd. Most events are free and open to the public. For more information, please visit mssu.edu and come join us in our pursuit of everything Nordic for our 2018 theme semester at MSSU. Our next guest tonight is Sean Conroy, the Exhibits Director of Joplin Spiva Center for the Arts. Tonight he'll be talking to us about their 48-hour art festival as well as, a, as well as the Spiva Art Center. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you today? I'm doing well. All right, so tell me a little bit about the um, Spiva Art Gallery, the Spiva Art Gallery, sorry. <laughs> uh, well, Sp Spiva Center for the Arts is a community art center mm -hmm. and we, uh, we offer everything for people to look at art learn about art and make art. So we have three galleries so people can come and look at art. Mm -hmm. We have two classrooms because we offer classes for everybody from preschool to old school and uh, then they make art. So we try to hit more mainly visual arts you know but we try to hit music and performing arts as much as we can but we have limited space for that so. Okay so tell me about your 48 hour film festival. Okay, so the idea here is that filmmakers have 48 hours to make a short film. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's a lot. It doesn't sound like it's hard, but it, it's fairly difficult to come up with a plot, dialogue, scene, all that stuff. Because uh, to ensure that they don't plan too much ahead, we throw them a few curveballs when we, when we start the entry, like a line of dialogue they have to use or a prop they have to use or even a genre that they have to use. And so um, is this your 40, uh, is this the first 48 hour horror f uh, film festival that Spiva has ever had? Yeah, uh, yeah it's the first one where we've said the genre ahead of time. Um, I'm gonna mix that up a little bit too. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna keep that secret but <laughs> um, oh. but it, but it will it will have an emphasis because of Halloween and stuff. Okay. On that. And then what inspired the whole 48-hour um, film festival, and how did it start? Well, um, I was aware that other places were doing this, mm -hmm. and it actually has become an international thing now. It's a really big deal, and different cities get adopted into the the big 48-hour film competition. We're not in that, but. Mainly it was just something I thought would be fun, you know, uh, yeah. and kind of outside of what we do a little more, you know, uh, just trying to touch into another area. But it's just fun to do fun things. It started off um, centered on downtown Joplin. It was called the Downtown Joplin Film Fest, mm -hmm. uh, 48 Hour Film Competition. And we were sponsoring it. Now we just took it over. Cool. And um, what would the renters like receive with the... Uh like, is it a runner-up? Is it three places, first, second, third? Like, so what's the prize for the winners, and like, how many places can you place? Um, well, there's four different awards. Um, there's cinematography, 
that also includes directing. Mm -hmm. There's um, best picture overall, and then best concept story, and then the People's Choice Award. And those awards have traditionally been donated by Forged Waterjet, and uh, we're going to be getting awards from them hopefully again this year, this for this uh, particular event. As far as other awards, I'm still working on that. And so. um, how will one get involved? So if one wanted to participate in, you know, the 48-hour film festival, how could they register or get involved? Or? Well, all they have to do is show up at 6 p.m. at Spiva Center for the Arts, downtown Joplin, uh, on uh, Friday, October 12th. And that's when they'll get their instructions. The whole team doesn't have to show up. It, it kind of helps if they do, mm -hmm. but just at least one person for the team. And the cost is $20 per team to enter. And then on October 14th, Sunday, they will be turning them in at 6 p.m. at the Bookhouse Cinema. We're, we're partnering with them on this. So it's, it's a Bookhouse and Spider Center for the Arts. So it's like a straight 48 hours, no red, like no rest, no going home. You're there for like 48 <laughs> hours. Well, I, I don't know. Some I, I know that some filmmakers don't go to bed, uh, but some of them do. It just depends on how sophisticated what they're doing it is and how experienced they have, how experienced they are doing it, uh, making you know films, and editing, because editing is usually the thing that really is the difficult thing for everybody. They don't think it's going to take as much time, and it takes the most time, I think. Well, I, I wanted to say that even if you can't participate, mm -hmm. you can come to the viewing on October twelfth, okay. uh, October twentieth, at the Bookhouse Cinema, and it's going to the viewings will start at five thirty, and then every thirty minutes, so it'll be a five thirty showing, six six thirty, seven thirty, eight thirty, and we'll be announcing the winners after the last showing. All right. Well, that sounds perfect. Well, guys, you heard it from Mr. Sean himself. So if you want to check out the 48-hour film festival, go down to the Spiva Art Center and um, check it out, guys. Thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you, guys. Looking for a convenient update on what's happening around Joplin? MSSU students provide live coverage of all city council meetings on the first and third Mondays of every month at 6 p.m. Meetings are also shown on the following Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. Only on KGCS-TV can you see the Joplin City Council meetings. We hope you tune in. Hey everybody, welcome back to Southern Nights. We're going to play a game. We're here uh, with Justin, Dobbs, Dinah, and me, Veronica Gasway. And so the object of this game is we each have a partner and we will wrap the toilet paper around our partner and the one who runs out of toilet paper and the person that is covered the best wins. So are you guys ready to get started? Yep, ready as ever. Get, okay. get this dub. Just get it. Uh. <laughs> on, on, on your marks, get set, go. Hold this. Let's hold this. Okay. Oh, it just ripped. That's lovely. Right. I, I may need you to hold it too. <laughs> Stealing ideas. I'll suck it in for you too. <laughs> Me too, Dobbs. I'm sucking in too, Dobbs. Ooh, I got an idea. Oh, oh no. This is bad. This no, is no. no, hold on. That works. <laughs> that works really well. <laughs> I mean, you stole my idea! No, go! No. Okay. No, oh. other way. Turn the other go. way. Turn the other way. No. Wait, wait, wait. I don't okay, know go. if I'm right or right this way. Right go, 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 go. go. Oh no, it keeps ripping! Go slower, go slower. Hold this real so quick, too. Right now. Alright. I like this. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, okay, keep going, keep going. No! I, I cannot stand straight anymore. Alright, this hand. <laughs> Just. Ah! I can't see straight. You can't keep no. going! <laughs> what? <laughs> it ripped again. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Are you okay? Are All you getting dizzy? <laughs> oh my lord! <gasps> ah! Stop, hold on. <laughs> oh girl! <laughs> okay. I'm over now. I feel like I've done this before. Like in in my past life. Okay, ten seconds. <laughs> nine, go, go, go. nine! Eight! <gasps> seven! Six! Five! Four! Three! No, it ripped again. Two! And Girl, give him my, my Okay. Yeah, All right. right. <laughs> so, <laughs> I do believe that we are covered better, but let's see the toilet paper comparison. It's all about weeds. So this is theirs and this is ours. I think we won, girl. I think. 
Yeah, we won. I think we won. <laughs> I, I wanted to do that so bad the whole time. I just wanted to do that. I couldn't stand it. I got so dizzy. Okay, so for my service per learning project, I am doing a toilet paper drive. I am calling it the Mummy Drive 2018. You can follow the event on Facebook. And I'm just collecting toilet paper for the Car Carthage Crisis Center. Um, I'm going to have a pickup day on November 1st. And any other information that you need to find will be on that Facebook page. Yes. All right. So what we have to do is we have to take our bowl of M&M's. We have to take each color out and put them into our five little cuppy cups. And we have to get each color in. Whoever gets all of their little colors out first wins the game. So, whenever you guys ready? With one hand. With one hand. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna start using it in a minute. Cause I'm gonna use two. Am I doing this right? Uh, yeah. Totally. This is a really like. There's six colors! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> hey, you're my co host! <laughs> what? I wanna win! Cheating is no fun. Let's let's just do that. That's what I'm doing. That's perfect. <laughs> Good. <laughs> what do you mean? Of course, always. I'm pl I'm playing the game. Done. No way. Yeah, way. Look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much for playing the game. Obviously, Veronica won. Right, Dobbs? Yeah, they totally. Dobbs, guys. You probably had less. Let's be real. Anyways, <laughs> but I had so much fun. This was a great show, and I'm so glad that you guys were here with us, here with me. Thank you for tuning in, audience, and we will see you next time. Thank you. I'm here on Southwater Key in Belize. Nanjing, China. I'm in Gothenburg, Sweden. Chicago, Illinois. Cardiff Castle in Wales. I'm here in New York City. Branson, Missouri. The University of Edinburgh here in Scotland. I now live in Bremen, Germany as a photographer. And I'm currently in San Francisco where I'm playing Madame de la Grande. Oof, that's me and Disney's Beauty and the Beast. I'm an architect and interior designer in Seattle, Washington. It just goes to show you can find a lion anywhere. 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 You can find a lion anywhere. Hi guys, welcome back to Southern Nights. I'm your host, Dinah West. And I'm Veronica Gasaway. We're here with Justin Collins today. So, Justin, tell us about yourself. What's your major? What grade you're in? Uh, well, I am a psychology major. Mm -hmm. I, uh, uh, this is my, I'm a freshman still technically. I think, does summer semester count as a semester? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, yeah, I'm still a freshman then. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty old for freshman. My birthday is actually uh, here in a couple of days. I'll be 25. Well, and um, mm -hmm. I'm just pretty much a musician that loves making music for people to listen to and hopefully change someone's life in one way or another. What draw drew you to music? Uh, really a depression and just home life. Uh, and it really just escalated from there. I found more solace in music ever since actually this summer when um, I was I found myself in the ER almost dead. I uh, spent about three weeks in, no, about actually about a week and a half in the hospital, just almost dead because I had an abscess tooth that nearly took my life. Infection was in my heart and everything. So first thing I did when I got out of the hospital was pick up my guitar and just start writing and playing more music. Well, that's good. That's a, that's a good story. And we're glad that you overcame that. And, you know, music is your sanity. It's what keeps you sane. So yeah. right now, yeah. <laughs> Do you write all your own music? Do you only play your songs? I play only my songs because I am not skilled enough to learn anybody else's. <laughs> <laughs> well, we understand. So what will you be singing for us today? Do you know? Are you just going to uh, play it? Or? Actually, um, more and more I think about it, more and more I'm thinking about playing a song that I actually started writing in the middle of uh, everything that was going on with my uh, jaw and whatnot over the summer. It's a song called Guiding Light about overcoming depression and everything. That would be awesome. Yeah. We're excited to hear you. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, the song's called Guiding Light. Don't listen 
to the voices in your head You are much better than them Just don't let them tear you down Cause that's what they want to do If you look to me, I'll help you through Everyone needs a friend When nobody else will stand by your side I'll be right there Just let me know how I can help I'll be your guiding light Depression only hurts every once in a while And you can win that fight Just let me know how I can help I'll be your guiding light Depression only hurts every once in a while And you can win that fight And I'll be by your side I know it feels like you're good for nothing I've been there, dear Medications are nice, yeah, drugs work well But all you need is a friend If you look to me, I'll help you through Everyone needs a friend when nobody else will stand by your side I'll be right there Just let me know how I can help I'll be your guiding light Depression only hurts every once in a while And you can win that fight just let me know how I can help I'll be your guiding light Depression only hurts every once in a while And you can win that fight And I'll be by your side Thanks everyone. You can check out my music on Spotify under Cinderella Says Hello and also like the Facebook page. Well, wasn't tonight such a good show? Did you have fun? Tonight? It was a great show tonight. I, know, I really enjoyed myself. Thank you to the cast, the co my beautiful, I mean, guys, <laughs> my beautiful co hosts, all the interviewees. Thank you for everyone who came in, the singers, for coming in and making this a great show. And as always, we hope to see you guys next time. Bye. See you guys. Welcome to Southern Nights, and we're going to show you where our downstairs studio is. <laughs> Hello, oh, chair. We also have that roll. I can't stop laughing! <laughs> Three, two... <laughs>